Okay, this video is for um, True Lovely Red. She sent in a request um, asking for me to do my airbrush foundation and discuss a little bit about that. And this is what I use. It's called Temp 2. And I'll put the link in the sidebar over there. But um, this right here is a set of 12 different foundation colors as well as um, some aqua converter and there really wasn't an explanation on what this was and I think I asked Encore um, what was this generally used for and I believe he said that it's just to you you know used to just thin out the foundation a little bit so if you want a more sheer finish then you add a few drops it doesn't take a lot to um, do your face and, and then I wore a t-shirt today but um, and then also this is um, some colorless setting powder. I think this was extra. I can't remember. It's been almost uh, about 10 months since I ordered this. But um, basically you get all of this right here. Not including this. I think this was like maybe $6.50 for I don't know how many ounces. So probably about 4 or 5 ounces. 6 ounces I think it was. But just hit up their website and it's called colorless powder. But it's basically a, a translucent setting powder. Um, but like I said, you get 12 of these different little um, quarter ounce bottles. And I mean, and there's a little ball in there to shake it up. It's not big at all, but this is a sample. And if you don't know what color foundation you're going to need, this is the best thing to get. Unless you just want to buy a four ounce bottle for, I mean a one ounce bottle for 20 bucks. And then find out it's not your color and have to send it back. So I just went ahead and bought the the sample pack because I do a lot of different um, little girls of different ethnic groups so it's best for me to get it. Um, let's see. And it goes from you know the deepest shade is which is ebony which is for all my little chocolate sisters out there and then I think it goes down to all the way down to alabaster which is for all my goth sisters out there. <laughs> So it, it goes from everything in between. I wear a MAC NC45, so the color that I use, actually I'm out of, but it's called Golden Tan. So if you're NC45 pretty much year round, your best bet if you just want to go ahead and skip ordering this and just order the one color, go with the um, Golden Tan. And when you look at it in the bottle, it looks a lot lighter. Matter of fact, this is it. You look at the, you know, you look at the bottle, you're like, mm mm, but it really is. This is. That's my color. Okay, you see that little drop? And you have to realize too that you're just putting a few little squirts in here in the well of the gun. And this is a petal airbrush gun, C cup, made in Japan. And the reason why you want the big cup and not the ones like they have at the nail supply store, I mean the nail salon, is that if you put your makeup in there in that little bitty, little tiny cup and you get to tilting and doing all this around here you're going to spill your makeup out on yourself or on your client. So you want the C cup. You're not going to fill that cup up because you're going to waste it. Unless you're doing 16 brides and they're all the same shade, then fine. You can fill it up to, I wouldn't even say fill it up, but fill it up like to here maybe. But that's still wasteful. Just do each face as you come to it. You can always add a little bit more. You can tell when you're about to run out because it'll start to sputter like a spray can. You know, like it start to spit on you. So basically with that being said what I usually do what I've been doing is mixing a little bit of the golden tan like maybe four squirts of the golden tan two squirts of the aqua converter and um, another color I can't remember what it is but I mix those and I take I fill up the little cup down in that little reservoir can you see that little that little reservoir down there with that little line in the middle that little line is the needle and the needle is what controls the airflow out which controls the, the output and then I take whatever's mixed um, I put the makeup in there and I stir it just a little bit and kind of swish 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 just so it'll come out good and mixed and then I test it like that um, this gun was like fifty dollars at my local um, nail supply house you can order them from Tim2 or Ket or any of these other airbrush places but I found that, you know, after doing like a year's worth of research, this was the best buy for me. Um, this is my compressor. And it's, it's about, roughly about maybe 
I don't know, about seven to nine pounds. I don't know. But it has a little handle. And um, it has a suction base. So if you're sitting it on a table somewhere, you can just suck it on and it's there. And um, that's pretty much it for that. Okay, so I've already poured my makeup in the little well, the little reservoir. Can you see that? Okay. And so I've got plenty in there. And just like, you know, anything with makeup, eyeshadow, anything, you know, you find what works for you. The good thing I like about Tim2, not only, you know, I think their prices are affordable and you get a lot. They have blush, they have eyeshadow, they have, like, converters and all sorts of different stuff, you know, that you can order through them. But they also have a page on YouTube or YouTube channel where they offer, um, like, tutorials and show you how to do it. Um, another company, Ket, offers classes like you can go to like New York or Miami and they offer classes that you can like airbrush mastery 101 that sort of thing for a price but you know for what I do this was fine so now I've got it filled my compressor's on and you'll hear it from time to time go sound like a vacuum cleaner but it's you know it's just compressing air so usually what I do is I start around the neck and the jawline and make sure I got that really good um getting around the nose is the hard part because you're try not to breathe it in um, and I try to stay away from my eyelids not because it's harmful but because I know I'm going to have to wipe it off anyway if I'm going to go start putting um, like the shade stick on and start layering my eyeshadows and pigments and things so it just kind of makes it muddy so usually I just try to stay away from my lid and then I still go back over and wipe it with like a MAC wipe so anyway here we go And right now, nothing's coming out, <laughs> so I'm just twisting the back end off and adjusting the needle, pumping the needle back and forth to make sure, not forcefully, but just to make sure that the product is getting through because I'm not feeling it. Um, and there's also websites and um, tutorials on YouTube that show you how to maintain and take care of your gun. Ooh, now it's coming out. Okay, so we start around the neck. And I like to work in a circular motion kind of fast so I can get a good even tone. You see my shirt's getting dirty. And you hear that kind of, you hear that crackling noise, that means it's running out because look, it's empty. But usually what I put in there was just plenty to do my face, but I didn't put a lot actually. So I'll just put it in, put a little bit more in. And the color, like I said, I was using is Golden Tan and Mocha, which both I'm almost out of. Um, Just put that in there. And here we go. And you see, kind of got it on my hair a little bit, but um, pretty much that's it. I don't know if that's too bright. Hmm. But it's a good even airbrushed finish and like I said I just gives you a nice matte finish but I still go over it and powder it just to make sure that it's nice and dry. And so just it dries pretty much instantly but just to make sure it's a nice matte powdery finish and then I begin with the rest of everything else. I hope that was helpful. If you have any more questions or any you know, any requests or anything else you would like to see, um concerning the airbrush or any other thing, any other looks or anything, just let me know, holler at me, and I hope that was helpful.